Hello YouTube, today I'd like to show you how to do um, the ADB hack on MacroDroid. So first of all, um, I'll show you why it's necessary to do the ADB hack. Um, lots of you already know, but let's just have a look at why it might be. So we're going to MacroDroid and you see as I've started a um, macro I didn't give it a name I've just added this trigger and so this trigger needs um, ADB hat so there is a link here but it's just giving you the permission that it wants you to grant so it isn't actually a link it's clickable but it takes you to some information but I'm going to give you the information anyway I've built a tool to do all this for you. So what we're going to do is we I've already got the tool but I'll just show you how you should do it. So I will give you a link to the tool. So the tool's a zip file. So you download the zip file. Uh, you should be able to um, to right click and to download the the zip file and then you extract the zip file I've extracted it on my desktop but you should be able to extract it wherever you want then you open the folder and then here is a tool but there's a step we need to take on the phone first now that you've got the tool downloaded and we're ready just about to open it up but don't open it just yet so we'll go to the phone and we're going to go back to the home screen and we're going to go settings so sometimes you can slide the notification area down I'm just going to get rid of that reddit notification there we go so sometimes you can pull the notification down uh, area down and get it here or in a lot of cases you'll have the icon on on your home on your list of apps anyway so then we're going to go to the system now in actual fact on some devices it's about where my where the word system is for me sometimes it says about so you need to get to your build number so whether you click system and then about or whether you click about device so then in my case I'm clicking about again and then we need to find build number and then you're going to click build number seven times to unlock developer options until you get this pop-up that I'm getting because I've unlocked developer options already so obviously it's saying you're already a developer so then we're going to go back and either back again the developers options has appeared so you can either do that way or you can go settings and then scroll down and developers options is usually between where my Google is and where it says system but in my case it's system and then developers options then we're going to scroll down and we're going to go to ADB debugging so I'm going to scroll down and we're going to tick to allow ADB debugging USB debugging sorry I've been naming it wrong and then press OK now you should hear a sound um, in which case that's that's good um, that's Windows detecting the device now sometimes you'll get this pop-up if you get the pop-up you press the tick box it's all, always allow from this computer and then press OK 
In some cases, you might not get this pop-up. In that case, you'll scroll down the notification area again. And where it's got your Android system and like the USB logo, press the little drop down and then press that notification and make sure it's set to transfer files. On some devices, um, there's an option to allow ADB while in charge mode. Um, that's not recommended, but you can do it if you wish to do it. Um, but I mean, if you're charging it in places, you don't know where the other end of the cable's going. It could be people tampering with your device, but it's, it's okay, it's off by default. So there's, there's no worry here. So we can, we can go back to our home screen now. Then we're going to load up the tool like I just showed you. So in here we've got a series of things. Um, we've got ADB itself. I didn't make this by the way, ADB. I didn't make these two dynamic library links or DLLs here. And of course I didn't make the APK the helper. Now what I've done is I've downloaded minimal ADB, got rid of some of the things it didn't need, and then I've built this .bat file. The .bat file is stands for batch, and it's just, you can open it in Notepad. So if you right click and click edit, it'll open in Notepad. But it's just a series of t uh, steps for MacroDroid permission granting. Now if we go back to MacroDroid, I'll just show you what I was dis displaying before, is this purple message here asking for permission. So I'm going to close out of this and not save this one. If you're working on an important macro, now would be the time to save it. Discard in my case. And press home screen. Now we're going to double click the tool. Oops, I've gone into the folder. I didn't need to do that. Let's go into the tool. So the, you double click this one here, start here, dot bat. You don't worry about any of the rest of the stuff. Double click here. Now we've done this step. The click in the tick box thing, but there's a little countdown here. And the countdown is to allow you to, oh, it's crashed. I'm going to restart that because I selected some stuff. That countdown is to allow the system to check that there's a device here so if it says device unauthorized that means that you've got to do this this tick in the box thing here so I'm just going to start that off again I've never experienced that crash now if you've done the step you can press enter to continue or if you if you're still doing the step with granting permission then just do that before the timer runs out now watch the next step so it's granting the permissions for macro droid now it's installing the helper which is needed for most uh, tools now and it's just waiting 10 seconds there we go it's completed now so it was waiting 10 seconds to allow um, the installation of the helper to complete. It's done its countdown here. It's installed It's installed the helper and it's granted its permissions. And then all you do is you can press enter and it will clean itself up. There's a bit of an issue. There we go and it will close and now that if we go back into here um, back to I'm just gonna do this back to macro droid uh, add macro plus on the triggers and it was the volume trigger so let's do this you see where it says root slash adb hack we press that and then press ok to this but you read it and then press ok and then choose an option and it's been granted and I will show you if I press the home button that macro droids helper was installed as well 
All right, it's here. And it's going to be... Where is the version? It doesn't tell me the version. Oh, yeah, version's right down here. So it's 1.4 at the moment, recording the video. But what I'll do, I'll... Every time the helper updates, I'll put the helper in the zip file so you'll never need to worry about it. And it has granted the permissions to the helper as well. Um, so I hope that was helpful to everyone. If there's any questions, just ask and I'll do my best to help. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. And... Uh, I hope you have a good time playing around with Macrodroid. Just make sure you're on the latest version of Macrodroid too. Okay, thank you. Take care. Bye.